previously on WonderCon. We go, WonderCon. With Joey, Tristan. The scalper didn't want to come to this today. I don't know if this is Prime 1 or not. But wow, man. I think that's... Different color effects on here. It's really nice. Look at these, man. Iron Studios. Psylocke. Kitty. Archangel's nice. Storm. This is like a, I want to say it's like a $3,000 piece. We got a huge store over here. What's oh, Queen? Okay. That's nice. Rooted hair and then there's a sculpted hair person. That's awesome. But, look at all these freaking Joker. These are all like the Funko Freddy stuff. Saw. I found one. It's a nice little setup though. We're not going to pick up anything, but it's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool little booth. No idea what their exclusives are since I don't buy really Funkos anymore. Whoa, this is this is actually pretty cool. That's nice. nice little setup. Yeah, they got a nice setup here. Look at all this. Nice little beach. It's like a it's like a beach setup. The sodas too are exclusive. Yeah. Black light. Oh, okay. They got the uh, the creator of Funko is there somewhere. He's right there signing. So, but this is a nice little setup. Like I'm pretty much we're pretty much like at the at the back of WonderCon. You can see the Funko booth is behind me. Uh, this is the WonderCon merch store. I think this is considered like Artist Alley, but like I said, there's not a whole lot going on here it is a little bit empty I think this is what comic-con like would have felt like in the 90s like not a whole lot of people huh? oh, geez, looks like they, they might have had some uh, celebrities celebrities here oh they got oh he's here today oh there you go 12 to 4 he's gonna be here that's pretty cool he got his pop too we got these are all I don't know who all these people are do you are you gonna come? Are you gonna come back around when he shows up? <laughs> All right, I found some vintage stuff right over here. Lots of Lucy's. Oh yeah, but I think I remember these guys. I think I remember seeing these guys at uh, LA Comic Con. There's a Power Ranger pack right there opened up, dude. Look at all these Lucy's. There's Muckman. Some Spawn stuff. Which I have, mo I don't have that, uh, that she spawn. That I don't have. But there's a lot of like rando Lucy's in here. They're all missing everything too. And broken. See, this is something I would totally want. Not for that price though. It spawn Dark Ages. This is freaking nice, man. Is there another one over here? This one's, uh, oh, that's nice. Look at that, classic covers. Look at these first appearances here. Jeez, there you go, Tell Suspense, X-Men, nice. Some McFarlane, McFarlane covers over here. I think I have all of these, look at all these hologram ones. Definitely memories. Check all these out, Spawn and Batman. Cannot go wrong with some Spawn and some Batman. I remember having this comic. This is the Robin I grew up with. I love the Tim Jake Robin. That's that's who I grew up with. What do you got there, man? What is it? Whoa, what you got going on here? YouTube channel. Nice. Yeah. What is, is that the exclusive, right? Yeah. Just 20 bucks, not bad. Oh, it's got little dings on it. Look at these old school toy biz. We got some loose stuff in there, too. But I don't even know what these are even priced at. I thought that said five dollars, but they got some Fantastic Four classics. Hey, are these the um, are these bootlegs? Yeah, sometimes you can find some. Sometimes you can find some good uh, bootlegs. Yeah, the Man Thing, Constantine. Oh, here we go. We got some bootlegs right here. Which one? Legends? The Spider Man? 
Oh, they got some stuff up top too. Yeah. Look at all these. Is it what? Oh. See, this is the. Oh, look at this 2099 Spider-Man. Yeah. I, I don't think I have that version yeah. of Spider-Man, the 2099. This one? Yeah, this is a good one. I still think that's like. Oh, yeah, that one's good too. I think I don't know if I have or that one. Yeah, a lot of these are like that juggernaut. I love that juggernaut, dude. Spider-Man classics. Remember when the scrolls were really hard to get? Oh, he's not even in here anymore. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, these are nice right here. They got some animated, animated posters too in the back. This one's nice. This is really cool. They got, it looks like they got some prints here too. Man, they were selling a Black Series lightsaber, Luke and Vader in box. The blue blue version of Luke for 125. These are awesome, dude. And they have, uh, you see the Nike shoes? They're wearing the Nike ones. That's awesome. These are cool. What are they? Are they priced? No. Dude, these are awesome. Like prints. Look at that. Keanu Reeves, the crown. Boba Fett. Spider-Man, Venom, which one, the Miles? That was cool. Yeah, they, they have one, of, oh yeah, there's one with the ghost, of Gwen Stacy. I think it was the 12 by 8. That's pretty nice. The Wolverine one with the, uh, oh, that's, that's nice. Is like Al Simmons? Yeah, I know. Look at this. Is this 10 bucks? If it's 10 bucks, I'll get it for 10 bucks. This one's cool right here. It's Curse of Spawn. Oh, I didn't see these. What do we got over here? Oh, Bub. I think I do have Bub. Oh, they're old school Puppet Masters. Reading in the Exorcist. Nice. How much is your Bub? I'm doing 45. 45? I can do 40. What about the McFarlane Monsters? The vamp that vampire? This is bloody variants. Okay. Freddy? Uh, Freddy is uh, 70. That's one of the cinema fears, you know, classic. Right. How much is the uh, question for you? Yeah. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry, but this is nice. He made him? No, a friend of ours did. This is cool. Wow. Is it It's for sale? Yes, sir. That's nice. Hey, I just sold one of those, too. Look at that. Fluffy. Ask for assistance. Jeez. Old school NECA right here. Look at these. You don't see these that much anymore. A lot of the old school NECA figures. Look at these, dude. The Cinema Fear. I still think this is the best uh, Jason Voorhees figure. Oh, that is freaking awesome. That I've always wanted that one. I think I have that one. Some films. What's the price on a... Cool. I think that's by Mezco too. Wow. That's cool. This thing right here, Stan Winston Monster. Wow. Hey, look at this. They got some horror figures in the box. Oh, this is cool. I remember having that. And then some like aliens. Oh, there we go. Tortured Souls right here. Damn. You see that? The lighting in here is kind of dark, but that's pretty cool. And then we got some Tales from the Crypt Keeper. I think I have all of these ones already. I'm pretty sure I have them. Pretty decent boxes, too. Earthworm Jim. Aliens. They got A Punk. And that's, no, that's Bishop. Oh, they got Hicks in the back. $20 for Hicks. Damn. Ripley in box. That's cool. Wow, I'm almost tempted on the Hicks. This is a figure I used to have as a kid. Love this figure. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Really? Yeah. Oh, they got Kiss. Oh, they've got more aliens on this side. Oh, they got a Beetlejuice down over here. 35, Apone again, the Rhino, some Spawn Manga, X Men. Oh, I didn't realize these were horror VHSs, Children of the Corn. Man, what are these? Marbles wand. Do you remember these? 
I do not remember these. Marvel's wanted. Yeah, this this place I have not seen in in a few years. This is pretty cool. What is it? Seventy five dollars a box? Oh, mystery boxes of a blade. Yeah, these are really cool. They didn't have these obviously because of Comic Con, because of, or in Comic Con, obviously because of the pandemic. But this is a cool spot. This is nice. Yeah, one fifty though. That's that's nice. I need. Yeah, I need that though. This is cool to see this. I remember seeing this as a kid. This one. And they got some. How many of you guys remember this? That is pretty awesome. Oh, they got another one over here. This is Nice. Toyzilla. Why does that sound familiar? The shop. Over. Like Elite's X. Oh, there's an Exo Squad over there. There's a Power Ranger two pack. Tristan's getting his uh his his autograph right here. This is Tristan's uh, lifelong dream to meet the actress who played um, Boo. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea that Tristan was uh, was a fan, was such a big fan. He's right back there. Tristan, Tristan's getting uh, getting a little autograph there. Oh, you're a good brother. Oh, nice. There you. <laughs> so, so in all honesty, he didn't get it for himself. He got it for his sister. Here, show, show them, show them. What's it say? I don't even know what it says. But it says it's, uh, Mike, Mike Lazowski and Kitty. Yeah, that's actually awesome. It's actually so. pretty cool. Yeah, so he, got, really cool he got her number too. I did. Yeah, look at this. They got some retro stuff here. Some Target Turtles too. Lost Boys, Super 7. That Gremlins is pretty cool. Oh, they got some pretty cool stuff at the Fusa. That Kingpin, I'm eyeing though, that like the Kingpin retro. Deadpool, they got they kicked them out because this is all DC shoot here. Dang. Actually, Deadpool! Deadpool! Oh. Actually, really cool costumes up here, though. A lot of these are actually like, really cool. They let him stay? Oh jeez, that's cool. They got some, they got some cool costumes in here. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the video for WonderCon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It's not what it used to be. You have to admit, the pandemic did kind of ruin Comic Con right now, or, or cons in general. Um, I was expecting way more people way more vendors but again i mean we went on a sunday but still there should have been I, I felt like there should have been a lot more but either way it was still good to be at a con uh i got confused when tristan by the way it was tristan's first con so that was pretty awesome uh comic related con i should say but that was cool that um he got the autograph from the girl who played Boo from Monsters Incorporated. I kept on thinking it was the little girl from Minions. So if I made any comments in the video about that, my mistake. Uh, he got a couple pops plus that one for his sister. Joey got, uh, I know he got the Turtle 4-pack. I think he got another thing. He got the Venom animated series uh, retro style. I, I'll show you what I picked up. I ended up picking up the, um, it was sealed but I because I was carrying this in package. It kind of ripped out the violator cycle so i ended up getting that right there i don't have the chopper i think this is really cool i love the artwork on that and then got a couple other figures i i wanted to go all out but i didn't i honestly refrained reframed refrained re from overbuying. i ended up picking up i got this for a good price the uh mysterio figure here the animated sorry about the lighting in here so i got that i needed him i saw i also saw electro and J. Jonah Jameson, but I think I'm gonna pick them up from Mike's booth, from or from Mike's toy shop. Uh, so if you're watching this, Mike, I need those, please. Uh, also got a, I got this, uh, I got the price knocked down on this one, but the Swamp Thing Villains, I need some of these. I do have the Glow in the Dark one on card, and I used to have this one as a kid, so I do wanna finish this line, the Swamp Thing animated stuff. Uh, there was a lot of stuff I wanted though. I, oh no, I did pick up, Another item. Totally, I totally forgot about this one. It was in my backpack. I ended up picking up the art of Spawn. This is the clown. There's a variant version of this one, but this is where he's on the drum set 
yeah, it's on the drum set, I believe. So I ended up getting that. So a few small related, related items. No turtle stuff. I did want to pick some turtle stuff. Didn't find anything I wanted. Uh, there was, a, uh, like I said, there was a lot of stuff I wanted. A lot of it was FOMO, though. Like those lightsabers, the Black Series. $125. You don't see those prices. But it was really cool. We all ended up picking up a few things. I definitely want to go to more cons. We'll see if, you know, the pandemic doesn't get bad again. Because supposedly it's rumored to get bad again soon. We'll see. But yeah, that's my haul, guys. That's all I picked up. This here, we met some cool sellers. And um, yeah, it was, you know, it's cool to go over there and socialize or network with some of these people. I'm definitely gonna hit up a few of them from the cards that they gave me and see if we can work out some deals. Because I want that spawn movie bus too from one that the seller that got me that clown figure that sold me that clown figure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It was a long video. If you enjoyed it, leave me in the comments down below. If you guys have got guys have gone to con since the pandemic, let me know what con you have been to. And again. Thumbs up the video. We'll see you soon. Later.